Hey Bobby, you drew with Pierre Kramling today. Tell us something about the game. Um, yeah, so in the opening I was spending a lot of time, got my bishop stuck on a5 and yeah, it was a real like, uncomfortable situation to be in. Um, and then she went for this attack. Um, there were a lot of like sacrifices she could have tried. I don't think they quite worked and then um, yeah, ended up getting a pretty balanced position. We were both really short on time. I uh, still had like 20 moves to make the time control and it was yeah, pretty equal and balanced, I guess. And um, yeah, then we had, we had like three minutes left by the end of it and probably I was slightly worse, but I offered a draw and yeah, she accepted. Did you ex expect her to accept? Um, I wasn't sure, but I thought there was a good chance she would. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the game. Yep. Okay, Bobby, we're looking at your game against Pia, uh, starting at um, your move, Bishop A5. Yep. Uh, yeah, so in this position, like, I know it's supposed to be equal, but um, this Bishop on A5 always gets stuck, and basically it just becomes, like, pretty uncomfortable play, so she played Rook D1, and then, yeah, I was thinking Queen E7 or Queen C7, and I was trying to make B5 work, but it never, I think it... Yeah, I don't think it quite works. So, mm -hmm. played Queen is it system. known territory? This are we? I, I'm not, sure. I, not did, sure. I didn't know this move. Ninety five. Yeah, I started. Okay. Think, I started thinking like, like twenty minutes on each move here because I couldn't get this bishop out. Um, mm -hmm. So she played b three, knight c six, bishop b two, and yeah, basically if I don't do anything, she's just gonna go like rook a c one, and then like at some mm -hmm. point b four is gonna trap my bishop. So I have to go for some. Yeah. So I went rook d eight. Yeah, and I was expecting rook c1, oh. and I was going to take, take, and knight d5, it mm -hmm. worked. Um, yeah, and in this position my bishop is still stuck, but it's sort of hard for her to do anything. Um, she would like to try to open up and try to attack me because she's playing with this extra bishop here, but pawn's in the way. Pawn's in the way, yeah. Yeah, she can't really, mm, she can't really do anything to get it out of the way, and then yeah, so I thought this was okay, but it, it's still uncomfortable because the bishop's just always stuck, yeah. So, so she, she played, tried this yeah, knight g4 move. She played yeah. knight g4, which, uh, I mean, I can see her idea was to, like, take c5 and go knight h6 or something, but I didn't think it worked. I can also play knight e8 just to be really safe, but I thought knight mm. d5 is totally fine because I didn't think it, all these sacrifices work. Um, yeah, so she took on c5, takes, takes, which is very critical, but she's allowed my bishop back. Yeah. So... If this sacrifice doesn't work, then um, yeah, I'm pretty happy because now my bishop's not stuck anymore. So actually, she has this line, knight h6, which... Um, wow. Okay. So if, if I take it... So I didn't actually see this during the game, but king f8, uh, check. And then like the point is that instead of taking on d5, she, she can play e4. And like this is, this is good for white, but n neither of us saw this during the game. Right, um, okay. Well, but after knight h6, I can play king f8, so it doesn't, okay. it doesn't quite work. Yeah, I can just play king f8 here. And then knight f5, uh, maybe f6 or something. Mm, but, so, yeah, yeah. The knight's left looking a bit silly on h6. Then, yeah, but um, I think when she went for this, like her plan was to... Sorry, go back uh, to dc5, bc5. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, her plan was to like take and go knight f6, but then I... She probably already showed the variation, so... Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh no, she didn't. Okay, so I think like this is like critical, but it it, does, it doesn't really work. Like, and then um, I can just play queen d six, and then like check check, and uh, yeah, there's nothing for white here. I just block on f eight, and suddenly my position's great. Um, yeah, so this doesn't really work. So okay, go yeah. So she didn't she didn't go for this. She just played h three, which was yeah. So now it's just equal. Um, yeah, so I went queen e7. Queen e7, yeah. Bishop c7. Oh, yeah, I think this position is pretty balanced. And um, yeah, takes, takes, knight c3. And yeah, yeah. Queen, queen d6 apparently is a mistake. But uh, yeah, the computer says you, she can just play g3. And then, um, yeah, apparently she can just play g3. But I, I don't think anyone plays g3. It's just, it's so weakening. And I think, the, I was just checking just before the computer was saying she can just take this pawn, but uh, I don't think anyone plays like this. <laughs> it just looks very, mm. just looks very scary. Uh, she played f4, which I was expecting. And then I went back, um, played queen f2. <laughs> so it's difficult down here for some reason. Come on, 
put it on the board. No, it's already on the board, isn't it? Yeah, queen yeah. Queen. queen of two. <coughs> and then um, I went rook d7. Yeah, I should play knight e2, which... Yeah, I should just play rook d8 here. Yeah, she thought I, that was a blunder. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, knight e2 is like... Oh, it's not like a losing blunder or anything. It's just... Yeah, yeah but I, I can just go here because take, I can take on f4. Yeah. Uh, I can realize after I made the move. Also, I can play on... I can also play knight b6 instead of rook d8. So if you... Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Which, I mean, rook d8 was my next move, but like this also works because... If bishop d3, then I can play rook d8. Um, and if she yeah. takes here, I take with the queen, and then I get a bishop here. Yeah, um, knight, knight e2 is... Uh, yeah, but no, yeah, but I, yeah, smooth bishop e7 was really bad. I, I was just like in time trouble there. just wanted to play yeah. some natural move quickly. I think Pierre was short of time as well. Yeah, we were both very short of time. Um, I could also play knight f6 there, but yeah, it's, I think knight b6 is fine. And then uh, sorry, f6 yeah. took... And then uh, I think I should take with the queen here. Okay. Mm, I thought it was very natural just to bring the knight back to f8, just to defend my king. But um, I don't know, maybe like c4 is a move. Yeah. And then maybe not c4, actually f6. Swing. Maybe just rook f8 instead of c4. <clears throat> but yeah, I, when I put my knight on f8, it just got very passive, and she had a lot of time to like build up her attack. So. Okay, back to the game. Yeah, go to so queen g4. Queen g4. Uh, we're in a it's not going to work if I do that, is it? Yeah, queen so I played, I played rook e8. Um, yeah, this is already quite bad because I'm, I'm, I'm like so passive. And I, yeah, I didn't realize how bad it was, but I thought I was sort of holding everything. And yeah, now, now my plan was to play knight g6 or maybe just to play rook d8 next move. And yeah. But then she played f5, which is very strong, and yeah. uh, now I realize I'm in some trouble. <laughs> and because I can play like e5, but then my position is very horrible. Yeah. So I, I have to go for this taking on g3, but um, yeah, then I'm she. for a draw. Yeah, I, I think she's better here. Like, um, I mean, I was looking at this line, and I saw rookie one, knight d4, and okay, I don't lose the piece. Bishop d5, I can play f5. Yeah. And okay, but like something like this. Um, yeah. Okay. White is definitely better. Mm, maybe not winning, but like my king is always going to be open, and yeah. okay, he just push, pushes this a pawn. Yeah. Um, okay, it's, it's not it's not easy, of course. No. Um, but yeah, I don't think Black has any winning chances in this position. Um, but yeah, we we still had like uh, quite a few moves left. Uh, yeah, six moves to the time control. Or yeah, so like maybe this. she just didn't want to like. I don't know. Go, fancy. go through that stress, yeah. Okay, thanks very much, Bobby. Thanks.